Hi everyone, it's Celeste Orchid, aka Marissa Floro. Um, just wanted to let you guys know that I did go shopping again. I have a mad problem. Not really. This time I actually really needed something and then I ended up impulse buying. But can you blame me? No. Uh, as you all know that I enjoy sewing or creating costumes or cosplaying. Um, yeah, I really do enjoy that shit. So that's cool. Let's just get right into it. So I went to Joanne's because I needed some sewing needles. <laughs> and my sewing needles. Um, that's not it. Here's my awesome receipt. Look how not long that is compared to what else I have. Um, I used my purse to bring it, my stuff, and I know it's in here. Okay, here they are. They were so small. So I got the Singer 10 Universal Point Regular Needles. I'm not doing anything crazy, but I'm just getting these needles because there's different variances and I ended up lose like I end up losing a lot of them so I bought two and just because it's crunch time for anime expo which is going on right now I totally dropped the ball on that not really I didn't plan on going until tomorrow which is Friday um, <coughs> July 3rd and so yeah I'll be there tomorrow in a new costume um, I'll be dressed as Kitty Cat Katarina from League of Legends. My friend Timmy actually made the blades for me. I just ran out of time. I didn't have a chance to. I do have my own Eva foam, my own prop stuff to make it. I just didn't have a chance. So don't blame me, guys, and be like, oh, you're a bad cosplayer. You don't make your own props. Well, you know what? Screw you. I want to see you work a 60-hour work week and make props, too, and a costume, and another costume. And still have a social life. And do, okay, anyways, back to the haul video. So, two packs of pins. Sewing needles. Two packs of sewing needles. Gotcha. So, my impulse buy was actually all of these little precious things. That's no way to treat a pattern, by the way. Okay. <coughs> so, McCall's is having a five for seven deal, which means that everything that is listed <coughs> on their sign, on their sign, and that's the little bold part right there says, no, you can't buy that at a cheaper price. By the way, it's really hot. Okay. So you get five patterns for $7. It says limit 10 customers, no quick sell, no easy sell. And it's only McCall's patterns. And I was really specific on asking them which ones I can get and couldn't get. And that's why in this video it is important. So let's begin with my normal one. I wanted a normal dress pattern, kind of like what H&M has. I recommend using the 6754. They have the peplum shirt that's inside here. It's very versatile, so you can make that a long sleeve, you like that, or you can make it a no sleeve, like that, yay. So it's the peplum, and then you can either make it into a dress, ta-da, or you can make it a long dress and a long sleeve, or a long dress with short sleeve, or you can make it a dress with no sleeves like this chick. Guess what? It was on scale. So I got it, so I don't have to buy stuff from H&M. Well, I can because I get lazy, and they have good different fabric qualities. Okay, whatever. Don't judge me. Next up, doo -doo 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 -doo, I'm going to save the good ones for last. Not like there's that many, so anyways. Second normal pattern of the day. Because I kind of wanted a different pattern from this kind of like easy bodice line, I wanted something a little bit more challenging and a little bit different, so I got this one. This one actually has the booby cups in this dress, and it's this dress right here, which has the tiered skirt or drop-down overlay. There's goadets in it, and it buttons in the front. And there's this another pattern, like, right here, where it's just, like, Eris's dress. Aerith, Aerith, Eris whatever you want to say. From Final Fantasy VII, the chick that is in the pink dress, I am a spoiler alerted. But guess what? If you don't know that she's not dead, you need to get with the times. Eris is dead, and I'm talking about the pink dress that she wears is this dress. I might be cosplaying it in the future. No, I might not. I don't know. 
cool. So anyways, I just wanted that because I think it would be nice to have to my collection of patterns. Next, this time we're gonna get, no, yeah, I guess so. <coughs> <coughs> Coughing. I got this pattern. This one is actually a costume pattern that they have for the Victorian era. As you can see here, they have a cage skirt. I actually really like the idea of having a cage skirt pattern just in case I suck at making them. Guess what? So I've actually tried making a cage skirt like two, three times in the past. And I tried doing it for Ohio Con one year. That sucked. So I completely had to scrap the rest of the project and just make it as simple as possible due to time constraints. But anyways, having this pattern will actually really help making different costumes. Uh, one, for example, Lulu from Final Fantasy X. What is with me in Final Fantasy references? I don't know. That's okay. Um, I actually really like this tail coat. This tail coat's pretty cool. Um, and you can even change the tail coat in the back here because it has like a little bustle. It has a little bustle. So yeah, and then there's a skirt. It's not like I need the skirt. I know how to make a skirt. Yeah. But obviously I can't make a dress because I got these dress patterns. I don't care. But speaking of skirts, I decided that I wanted to go a little bit more hardcore with my schoolgirl uniform. So I got the schoolgirl uniform pattern. Uh, reason being is that it actually has a vest pattern right here. And I think that's a really cool. So I could wear that normally. It actually has the t-shirt pattern which is a button-up shirt with the collar, or you can have a button-up with the sailor collar. It's up to you. Um, they actually include the blazers, so you get a lot in this packet. This packet normally costs $19.95, but no, I, I'm not, I didn't pay that price. And the last but not least, the cool part is they actually put in da -da -da -da, the pleated skirt. Everyone's vain existence in anime. So cool, I got the generic I'm a school girl outfit. What does this mean? Expect a better Bible Black costume. How's that? Take that, Square. I didn't mention another Final Fantasy game. I could have said Final Fantasy Type Zero. I have that. It is actually right underneath here. I could show you. It. Yeah, type zero, because guess what? These chicks have, have pleated skirts. Oh, that's perfect. And like, I have a blazer now. Jesus Christ, I'm smart, cool. So if I wanted to do that. Last but not least, I got two of the same pattern because I have, but, oops. I have a tendency to fuck things up. I'm sorry, I have a tendency to screw things up. Cool, awesome, not really, no. It's not cool. <coughs> so, I got two of the same pattern that cost $21.95. I did not pay for that. So, luckily, because of the sale, and I don't know if this is supposed to be like that, but you could totally just like, I don't know. I already paid for it. What could you do? Sue me? No, I'm sorry. I already paid for it. It's out of my bank. I don't have the money anymore. I own it. So, I have two of Yaya Han's bodysuit pattern. Now, why did I get two? Because I suck at making bodysuits. So, I got two of the same pattern, one, so I can butcher it for Zero Suit Samus because that's been on my dream list to do. And I have the materials, so I will. And then two, just in case if I ever butchered the first pattern and I didn't need to, I have a second one on backup. I ended up buying two of the same size, which is A5. A5 is... 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, I believe, <coughs> I believe, I don't know what size I am on this chart. It says, designed for two-way stretch and four-way stretch knits. Well, I am screwed because I don't think any of my pattern, no, I'm just kidding. Anyways, so that was that haul for Anime Expo's patterns. No Joann's. So let's count that again. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, six patterns, two sets of needles, two sets of needles. And what does that mean? <coughs> My total came to a grand total of, with 
a 20% off mail, uh, email coupon, which I highly recommend getting on their mailing list because you get shit tons of coupons all the time. You never know when you need it. Today was a godsend because I did need it. And thank God. Today, I paid total $19.60. Okay, look, right there. Okay. $19.60, right there. Total savings of $73.60. I am awesome. <laughs> but that's not all. I ended up going to a second store because I know that Anime Expo is this weekend, aka going on right now. I needed to get my girly shit on. So I ended up buying new eyelashes. Bam! So these are from a beauty store. These are the Ardell Professional with three customized styles for custom looks. So one, I have the super thin lashes that I can just put on the edges here, which I normally do. My eyes are really weak with lashes, and they're actually really long. Can you see? I don't know. No one can usually tell. I usually try heat curling them because I have a curler heater. Yeah, sorry this video is taking forever. But anyways, so I have these new lashes for AX to last me all of AX. I don't know if that wand's going to last me all of AX. I'll probably lose it. And then I also got these applicators for my Latisse. I take Latisse because my eyelashes and my eyebrows are actually extremely thin. So I highly recommend that. All of these both came to a grand total of, <coughs> unfortunately, $17.42. So even though I still saved $73.60 from Joann's, I went and spent $17.42 on reusable eyelashes. But that's good. And then all these applicators. Holy crap, how many are there? There's 26 applicators, which means that there's going to be like 13 days worth if I use one applicator per eye with the Latisse, which you're supposed to. And I ran out of Latisse stuff, I think. That or I lost the brushes. So yeah. And all in all, today I really only spent like 17 plus 19. Six. $36. Okay, fine. $37 because of the cents. I have some. Okay, but that's cool. Thanks for watching my haul video of my makeup supplies for Anime Expo this weekend. Yeah, I have a lot of other makeup that I can use. And my Joann's haul because I needed this. I highly recommend getting these patterns right now. Always need backup needles because I totally ran out of needles. And the current one that I have is blunt, which is not cool. Yaya Han's bodysuit pattern. Great for anything, especially if you need a leotard. And she actually has it in different ways. It's very customizable. I'm just looking at that right now. Pretty good. Two of those. This one is a multi packet uniform skirt, vest, shirt, blouse. Or no, shirt, vest, blazer, tailor collar. Very useful. This one is a jacket, skirt, and corset, skirt, hoop, skirt, half circle thingy. Very useful for all those crazy other outfits that I will be doing for the next fashion show that I am at, which is at Anime California. Normal dresses and normal dresses with shirts. So, I think I did pretty good today. I will be using these in future patterns, future tutorials, uh, not tutorials, but I will be using them in the future. So, I hope to see you guys soon. Make sure to like my video, give me a comment, and share the love. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.